Adobe has a new tool, it's called Substance 3D Viewer and with Substance 3D Viewer you can create 3D objects and import them into Photoshop. It's actually pretty cool because you don't have to learn 3D, you can let Photoshop do it for you and you can also import 3D objects like for instance if you download them from a website you can import them and you can use them to create your own kind of artwork. So let's look at it and how it works so you can try it out yourself for free. All right, to get the beta version of Substance 3D Viewer, you have to go into your Creative Cloud and then you have to go to Apps and in beta section of Apps, you can download it here. You can see here Substance 3D Viewer, just download it and then you can use it. All right, here in the starting screen of Substance 3D Viewer, we can add 3D elements to our designs in Photoshop or we can create a 3D model with text prompts. So let's go to create a 3D model with text prompts. And I'm gonna write a simple prompt like say robot. And let's just generate this with AI and there it is. Here's our robot. Now it doesn't look right yet, but we're gonna fix that. So here you can see we have a menu on the left side where we can select different things. I'm gonna go to generate and I'm gonna do 3D model to image. And here we need to write a prompt. So let's say robot in a office. Here you can select how much do you want the 3D shape to match your image. Let's give it a hundred percent and let's just generate this. In settings and effects, you have more settings you could do, but we're not gonna go into those now. I just wanna create a 3D scene from this design. Now this doesn't look perfect yet, but I think it's pretty nice that you can really generate a 3D object from your idea. And if you want to download this, just click on download and you have that image. Now, this is the first thing that I think is pretty cool because you can just write a prompt and it's going to generate this in 3D. I remember when I created digital art, I would look for 3D models online. If I want to create a really cool scene with an idea I have in my head, I have to look for 3D objects to get them. I used Pixel Squid for this. With Pixel Squid, you can download a plugin into Photoshop and that way you have a big library of 3D models to use for your designs but it's always limited to the library they have. And now with this, we can write our own prompt. So we don't have to rely on the library. We can just use our imagination. Now let's go to back to the starting screen. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the homepage and I'm gonna open a file. So if you have a file, like for instance, a 3D model, you can import that into this program. So let's import a file. I have this Mercedes here and I'm gonna import this. I don't want to save that and look at that this is our 3d model actually what i did was i searched on google for free 3d models and i came to a website where i download this there are a lot of websites where you can download free 3d models and also paid ones but this one was free and i just downloaded it and look at that how great it looks and this is a 3d model that was just downloaded from the internet now when we go to appearance here we can select colors for our 3d model so let's say for instance, I wanna change the color of the interior of this car. I would click here and I can easily change it to a different color as I want to. Maybe I wanna have a white interior, I will change it like that. And the same goes for the other stuff. You can for instance, change the color of the grill here. If you wanna have a different color, let's just keep it as it was and etc. Now we also have materials here from this. So if I wanna use one of these materials, let's say for instance, I wanna have this car in Chrome, I could just take that one and drag it onto the car and it's gonna apply this material to the car like that. And look how great that looks. Now, once you have everything how you want it to, you have the colors and everything, you can create a scene from it. So let's click 3D model to image and I'm gonna write Mercedes on a wet road, just like that. And let's keep the match 3D shapes at 100 to use this shape. And you can see we can move this a bit to the center, maybe a bit like that. And let's see what it creates from this. And there it is. And now you can see the flaws this software has. So obviously this isn't the Mercedes anymore. This changes the whole car. Maybe because it's copyrighted with the logo, but also the car, the headlights here changes a little bit and everything else. So for these kind of things, it's probably not good yet, but I think you can use it for maybe stuff in the background, generate some small objects in the background of your artwork for instance but if you're going to use this as your main subject of your artwork it's not useful yet but because it's beta it's still new i can imagine that it's not so good yet 
but also because of this software i think 3d designers are gonna lose their job again so first it was digital artists then photographers because we can generate all these photos with ai now and now we also don't need 3d designers because we can generate everything ourselves with this software once it gets a little bit better so that's it try it out if you want to it's pretty cool it's not there yet but the start is good so thanks for watching this video if you want to see what's new in photoshop 2025 check out this video and catch you on the next one